uh, we're gonna do one more video tonight. Oh yeah, we got. We're gonna. We, so we've we got to do. We haven't done a weird pulse segment in quite a while. Yeah. Man. And you're Halloween Oh, sweet old horror figures. I figured you'd like. Right on my alley. YouTube I figured you'd right like this. Let's get yeah. this ad real quick. I'll just put it on mute. But yeah, this is uh, him going through vintage uh, toys of his. And oh, sweet. The thing I love about Weird Pulse, he does have cool ass shit. Yeah, he, dude, he's got a great collection of stuff. And he is a weirdo. Yeah. I, I don't know. Now, the thing with Weird Pulse, this will be our first video we've done on him. So let's do a little more explaining. So. Uh -huh. He's the original vlogger out of Pittsburgh. And, and real deal, because he was vlogging in the 80s. He really right? legitimately was. Mm -hmm. He has a video camera. He posts his videos online from the 80s. And I love his McDonald's one where he went to McDonald's. I mean, I got like breakfast at McDonald's. Yeah. The first video I saw, Weird Paul, and I don't know why I was looking at this up, but I was looking up uh, the Hills. Remember that department mm -hmm. store Hills? Mm-hmm. And his, one of his videos is just him going to Hills in, like, 1993. Something like that. I love Weird Paul. He's, like, a historian, too. He really is. Like, and I feel like, uh, you know, my life, I could see I could see myself being Jeff Bartels one day. I could see myself being Weird Paul one day. The great thing about these weirdos is you see a piece of yourself in them. And I hopefully That's you why don't I love see them. Dan Silly in yourself. No, <laughs> God. If, they, if you see that in me, please shoot me. <laughs> or call please. the police. Yeah, or call the police, please. Uh, but, but anyway, Weird Paul um, lives up to his title. He's, he's got a he's horrible in haircut. He's endearing, and I, I truly hope that he has, like, a wife or something that, yeah. like... He's a sweetie pie. Yeah, that, like, really appreciates his goofiness, because... Yeah. I, I wish there was someone out there that appreciated my yeah weirdness. I, I, the set here I love too. Like he always films in this room with that ladder on like the left. Yeah, right. Oh, yeah, yeah, like how shitty. Like you put no thought in this. The warmer ladders though are good ladders. Well, all right, fine. I'll give, I'll give him credit for picking out a good ladder. Yeah. Right. You, so you're right. Shout out to Warner Ladders, <laughs> the <laughs> sponsor of the show tonight. Yes, we have been the sponsor of the show. Yeah, a ladder reason? company. And we had to wear, wear a Warner Ladder shirt. Yeah, we have nothing to do with ladders ever in any of these videos. <laughs> we should like watch a ladder fall videos one day. A ladder. That's fail. a great idea. Mm -hmm. That's a great idea. Would you like to work at the Warner Ladders? In some capacity? Oh, yeah. Okay. No, I do have a Warner ladder. They're nice ladders. All right. I'll and they're the uh, sponsor of the NCAA uh, basketball tournament. Wow, you're just That's what they use to cut down the net. You're blowing my mind tonight with all those fascinating mm -hmm. yeah, Warner fun ladder facts. statistics. <laughs> <laughs> facts on Warner ladders. Yeah. It's Weird Paul. I've got some more toys to show you. I love that that cut. He, he always does that. Like that weird, he's mm -hmm. a closer... I'm, I just pretend I'm in the same room with him, and he gets, like, this close to my face. Yeah. You know? He's, oh. he's, he, he really is, like, secretly genius, though. So. Yeah, I don't, that's the thing with Weird Paul. I don't know if this is a character. Well, I don't know. Is this a character, or is this really him? You guys I think, decide. I think it's, like, a mix of both, honestly. Somewhere in between. The truth somewhere in between, but it's, like, a between. little bit of a character, but I really think this is, like, a lot of him, though. Yeah. Mr. Toys. Back in June of 1990, I got this little Freddy Krueger doll. It's the shittiest doll I've ever seen. I bought seen. him at Woolworths, right. and he must have been in the clearance bin because he was missing his hat. Yeah. Here's a few that I got from cereal boxes. These Uncle Fester and Cousin wow. Big flashlights. They would never boxes. give that in cereal boxes now. They'd be just like some cutout out of cardboard. Yeah. I was actually just talking with my mom. She got my nephew uh, a Happy Meal. The toys are so weak nowadays. It was just a pair of sunglasses made out of cardboard. That's terrible. Like, instead of... I was thinking about that, too. Like, even McDonald's and Burger yeah. King. Dude, Bur I watched a video on, like, Burger King toys from the 90s. Dude, the Bur remember Burger King had a Simpsons set? Yes. Which, like, uh, dude, I have all of them with all the 30 figures. Not even just that, but even, like, the Disney toys at yeah, McDonald's and Burger King. They were fucking... They were the sh they're better than toys at Toys R Us. Yeah, right. They're quality. They're good shit. And, I like, I don't think they do that anymore. Like, I don't... No, they do it like they said, like... The toy was a, a cheap, thin-ass plastic, and then the frames were made out of cardboard. That's bullshit. Yeah, I was pissed. I was like, this is fucking bullshit. Kids, yeah, they don't know what they're... We really got lucky. No, because I'm all the that. same people were making a stink about, like, recyclable shit. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. So. Oh, that's like, fucking, fucking lame. Stupid. Boxes of Adam's Family cereal in 1991. And this plastic Frankenberry figurine was from General Mills Monster cereals in the 70s. Let's move on to vampires. Oh, you know what's interesting about 
did we have Paul explain this to us, or did I just hear this somewhere else that one of the whistles out of one of the uh, cereal boxes, maybe you even told me this back in the day, when you blow the whistle into a payphone, you were able to make collect calls for free because it was the same tone that would batch in like, like you paid for the. Uh, I, mean, I don't know who told you. I don't, I don't think I've ever even talked about this. Yeah, where did I hear that from? Yeah, definitely not from me. <laughs> yeah, it was like a certain whistle that when you whistled into the payphone, it like bypassed having to pay for it because it was the same pitch and frequency. Tone, frequency. Okay. So it would patch you in like if you wanted to make a call like out, you know, out Damn. of state or out of country. Or Too bad or there's no payphones around to test this out. Right? I know, dude. Where oh, honestly, where is the nearest payphone? Like old school payphone. I don't I mean, know. I don't know if there is one anywhere. I have no idea. I'd love to make a call on a payphone. Yeah, I know. Did you miss payphones? I do. I miss yeah. all that shit. I'm just touching them. And yeah. Fucking yeah, <laughs> licking the handles and everything. <laughs> yeah. Was, yeah, the Standing smell. Standing naked in the booth. It smells like balls. Uh-huh. <laughs> Everyone rubs their balls over the phone handle. <laughs> I gotta make a call. Uh, do you know how many people probably rub shit on the receiver like of a phone? Oh, absolutely. The just to play a prank. Are you kidding? Back in the 90s when people used to use pay phones, the guys would go in there and just finger their assholes. And yeah, and just rub it all over yeah. the phone and people would stick shit up in their mouth. And you go in there like, who shit all over the place? Right, and then you realize it's in your mouth and you're like, <laughs> ah, fuck. <laughs> so but yeah. you have to go back to work. Uh-huh. Even though we were probably like eight. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> you know? Here's a funny little wind-up vampire. I want to bite your leg. Huh. And a ball with a vampire face. Yeah. I've got some classic vampire fangs. Do I appear at all menacing? God, he, <laughs> I, Weird Paul pulls off this weird... Like, he can be... He's cringe, but he gets away with it for some reason. He does. Like, I don't want, I want, like, I want to punch him in the face, but... Because he's a child at heart. I know. There's something lovable about him, so I won't, but I want to. Yeah. You know what I mean? I like you, man. Here's a really cool thing called a Dracubobble. Hmm. That's cool. I also have this Frankenbobble. Imagine keeping these. Would you? I know you would. I would, yeah, for sure. There were eight different monster bobbles. These were made by a toy company called Kusan. Here's a little tiny I like how he has like the what like the manufacturer and everything that he, he knows that he yeah. knows that it's great. Dine. Not so he's like I respect him because of the history. Like uh -huh. he just like, like Jeff he's, he's, like knows. A, he's a true collector because a true collector knows the history behind yeah. every item they have. Yeah, but he, it's annoying at the same time. Yeah, right. Scary. Oh my! But here's a really big one. It's from 1986. It was made by Imperial Toys. They also made figures of Dracula, the Mummy, and the Wolfman. This Frankenstein came from the top of a tube of Snickers candy in 1995. Whoa. These must be so hard to edit because he's. F this is filmed on analog. Yeah, I know. Like I like the square. Yeah. Like uh, you know what do they call it the um, four by three. Or yeah, whatever, the, yeah. The ratio. Yeah. And uh, that must be. Yeah. Hard so to I wonder what he does. He films on VHS as he. Uh, would he have to play it real time into the computer to edit unless he's editing it off of like the actual vintage like I don't know wouldn't that be hard to convert and then upload to YouTube it would take a lot of time so say if you shot an hour worth of thing you have to play the camera for an hour into the computer to capture it yeah then edit it and then oh so you'd have to capture it in real time mhm mm Oh, I didn't know that. So if you had a VHS what? camera, like, go and say that capture card had an input for, yeah. like, the a VHS camera out, you would have to play it in real time. It wouldn't just automatically upload. Oh, fuck that. Yeah. So if you had eight hours of things, you have to have the camera play for eight hours. Oh, what a pain. Yeah. He does this every day. Yeah. The Milky Way tubes had the mummy on them. This tiny Frankenstein head bucket was made by oh, Easter oh, oh. Unlimited. The company is now called Fun World, and they specialize in holiday-themed toys. Sweet. Wow, check out Whoa. these Frankenstein and Bride of Frankenstein. You like those? Those are cool. Those look almost like weird glasses or something. Frankenstein plastic glasses. Yeah, those are sweet. Okay, do I appear at all menacing now? Oh, <laughs> those are cool glasses, though. <laughs> so fucking kids are really cool glasses, not gonna lie. How about some Monster Faces stickers? Oh, man, that's hideous. Oh, it must be time for a copyright infringement alert. Uh-oh. In 2006, a company called Property of X1X Archives was selling these creepy classics toys. There's Frankenstein, King Kong, the Mummy, and the Werewolf. 
For the most part, they're based very closely on the trademarked movie monsters. And look how they are using the actual movie posters on the back of the packages. Maybe they thought they could get away with it if they were all holding baseball bats? Huh. Here's a really strange ceramic figurine. The fact that he, like, how did he know that? How yeah. You, how do you look that up? I have no fucking clue. Like, he's cool, like, I can't... And it's not it. like, he knows it's off the top of his head. It's I know. Not, it's I not don't like imagine he's, he's reading a paper. No. He just knows it. No, he's, uh, he should be autistic, Weird Paul. Yeah. With Asperger. Yeah, uh-huh. It's an orange mummy sitting on a house with a little gray cat. <laughs> I've also got <laughs> some fast food monsters. These good goblins came from Burger King in 1989. Jesus Christ. Yeah, well, like, what are, like, Burger King toys wouldn't be that quality anymore. No. I don't even know if they do toys anymore. They might not. Can. I know McDonald's does. But even their toy, it's, like, so de-emphasized. Yeah. Now. I don't know what the fuck happened. Mm hmm Like, to toys and how cool they were at these restaurants. Now, Wendy's never had toys. I worked there. Their, their toys were always yeah. horrible. Yeah. But Burger King, McDonald's. Burger King, McDonald's fucking owned it. Like I said, that yeah. Simpson one, they had like 30 different ones, I think. And yeah. They were, had all of them. They're sweet. Remember the Men in Black toys? Were those Simpson ones Halloween themed too? Yeah, they always had Halloween Yeah, too. yeah. And they would have like glasses. Like, you know, you drink out of them. Yeah. Like, like the, they were like limited edition glasses. Yeah. they have like, I remember when Pokemon came out. They had the best Pokemon shit oh. at Burger King. Dude, I remember, I remember uh, Taco Bell and Star Wars. They'd have a couple of us like this and then a big... On the top, like, um, what oh, what in episode one, yeah, 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 I do vaguely remember yeah. that. Those were cool with like Yoda or something on top of it. None of that's around anymore. Yeah, I know. Fuck. Because these companies are too fucking cheap and they're just. Uh, do people not like toys anymore? I understand. Yeah, instead of, uh, you know, the CEO making, uh, instead of 10 million, he needs to make 12 million now so he doesn't make these fucking toys or whatever. It's so stupid. We've got Zelda Zoom Broom. Gordy Goblin, and Frankie Steen. Looks like he's lost his trousers. I also have this 1992 Wolfman Cup from Pizza Hut. Oh, that one is I like that. sweet. Back, it says his nicknames are Wolfmeister and Wolfarino. They also had cups featuring oh, dude, Dracula I and go on eBay and buy one of those. Here's an 80s witch Pez dispenser. And a 1987 Ghostbusters bug eye. Well, finally, I was, yeah. I was wondering when he was going to get to some Ghostbusters. Yeah, that's, that's real. that one's cool. From Kenner. Here's some funny little jack o' lanterns. I think I have some of them are whistles, and some of them don't do anything. This little wind up one is twerking. <laughs> okay, yeah. Is that scary? Huh? Like, does he just have like bins and bins and bins all sorted by like seasons and themes? And look how weird he looks right there. I know. Like, his teeth are strange. He's got very, like, sawed teeth. Like, he well, sharpened his teeth. <laughs> I think he might have. He might have sharpened Because remember, he was, like, in bands and stuff. Maybe he sharpened his teeth for a band. What drug would you do to get teeth like that? Meth. Is it meth? Is meth. that, like, meth mouth? Well, yeah, it could be meth mouth. Or are you so high on meth that you actually file your teeth willingly with the file? I can't see him doing meth. Because he's so wholesome. Yeah, uh-huh. But maybe. But maybe. Maybe, you know, he had a hard drug phase, and then he was like, you know what? I need to go back to being a child and have innocence or something. <laughs> yeah, I don't you know. You know, I have no fucking clue. We saw some clips of him when he was younger. He looked better as a kid. Yeah. Remember that? Uh-huh. I was like, weird Paul doesn't look weird when he was young. Right. But he kept, now I guess because he kept the bowl cut. Look. The bowl cut as a goatee and sharpened teeth. Yeah, the, a good dude, goatees are, that's not a good look for no. guys. Guys out there. No, that's why when I shaved yesterday after like a week long beard, like yeah. I saved the goatee for a second. I was like, "This is not a good look." Good goatees are not. I don't know. Very out of style. It's right like now. it's either it's just it's mustache. You, you know, know what other mustache? You know what other hate look I really hate is the chin strap. Oh yeah. Remember that used to be dude. That was such like um, like Austin town like ghetto white thug. It used to be a little white trashy. Yeah, yeah. white trashy with a chin strap. But I remember in high school those were like kind of Yeah, because that was also with the uh, very like detailed you know, line of the where they would like you know how The, the, stu the steps or whatever? In your not steps, but they would like 
Oh, oh, it was like a real precise, yeah, kind precise, of, uh, and, yeah. then, and then the chin strap, yeah. Yeah, like, Hispanics really like that stuff. Right, it doesn't look good on white people. On white people, the white guys don't do yeah, it. Yeah, please stop doing that. And even if anyone's was, still doing Hispanics it. Hispanics and Mexicans out there don't even, I mean. Yeah, I mean, time, time to move on. Maybe it could be reinvented 30 years from now, yeah. but not now. No, the, the, that is a bad look. That, that trend ended 10 to 15 years ago. I mean, it shouldn't have started in the first right. place. Right, right. Last of all, I have this Dracula head candle. I got him in 1986, and I named him Schnell after. <laughs> he named his candle Schnell. <laughs> wow, I've never, I've never thought of naming a candle ever in my life. That's pretty interesting. Let's Schnell the candle. What this the fuck? fucking guy? Yeah, I love him. Naming I candle. Named my candle Schnell. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Oh my god, yeah, that's, that's, great. Great. All right. that's great. Ronnie James Dio's keyboard player, Claude Schnell. Oh, okay. He made a number of appearances in our home. That's him from when he was a kid. Oh, movies. Yeah. Whenever we needed a vampire. Wow. I hope that you enjoyed seeing the monster toys today. I really did, actually. Did, yeah, I know. Click on the like button down below. I love you, Paul. I'll see you soon with more memories. Thanks, YouTube. Good job, Paul. Thanks by for advertising the, uh, on YouTube. I grow my business into information. information. Okay, Lori, I'm looking at Weird Paul, we like that video. We yeah. like you. Yeah. You're weird. And yeah, give that a like. I love Weird Paul. He named his Candle Schnell. Really yeah. Yeah. Based off the drummer from Ronnie James Dio. So I get it.